Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at Google's Bard AI chatbot. We will also look at how we can sign up and get us started. We will look at how we can generate code samples and run them inside the Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you like the video and you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So BART Chatbot is a conversational generative artificial intelligence chatbot developed by Google. It's based initially on LAMDA family of large language models. So enough of all of the talking. So let's get into the real stuff here. So as you can see on the screen here, I've got Visual Studio 2022 opened. But first of all, let's open a browser. Let's go to Google and we type in Google BART. So as you can see here, the first result is HTTPS BART.Google.com. So as you can see, the first result is Meet BART Google. Yeah. So we, before we click on it here, as you can see, it's got uh, Meet BART, your creative and, and helpful collaborator. So let's click on it. So as you can see, I've actually, I've already signed up with the Gmail, so it's open. So if you haven't, um, you have to sign up on Google Gmail so that you can, you'll be able to get started. Yeah, so as you can see, yeah, it's, it's still on, on an experimental base, yeah? So first of all, let's type in anything. Let's type in like, what is Fisher? And let's see what we get. So on my upcoming videos here, what I would do is I'm just going to um, compare the, the Google's Bard and Chad, Chad, um, GPT and see what, what are the differences. Yeah, so look at the results that we've actually got here. So it's given us what C sharp is really is. So it's a general purpose, multi-paradigm, object-oriented programming language developed by Microsoft within the .NET framework and whatnot, yeah? So let's see, let's write is programming. C sharp difficult. Let's see what the type of result we're going to get. So it says C, C sharp is not a difficult language to learn, especially if you have some experience with other programming languages. So C sharp is a high level language, which means that it is designed to be easy to read and write. It's also a lot of features, I mean, that make it easier to develop complex applications. Yeah. So now let's go to the Visual Studio and open and, and create a console app here. So click on the start window, create a new project. And let's select C sharp language. So the first bit is the console app here. So we click on the next. So here you can configure your project details, but we're not going to do that. So we're just going to click on the next again. And next and create. So this might actually take a while. So I'm just going to pause the video. So as you can see here now, we've actually got um, a very simple console app created for us initially. So let's, let's go back to the browser. And let's write, um, let's tell about to write a simple, simple C sharp sample. So as you can see here now, we've got a very simple C sharp sample. So Let's copy it. So we can copy the code by clicking here, copy code. And let's come inside the C sharp, I mean the code, uh, the Visual Studio. 
let's delete all of this and let's paste it here so as you can see it's very simple let's run it to see it so what we've got is a hello world very simple c-sharp console app here so let's go back to the to the browser and let's write something like uh, uh, create simple uh, this is, I've just re so let's go create simple i'm going to write c sharp like c sharp like this and see what actually comes from c sharp dictionary sample so let's see what actually comes out okay so basically is sometimes when you write the C sharp like this here, it doesn't it doesn't pick it up. So this is what we get. So sure, here is a simple C sharp dictionary sample here. So this is the sample that has been created for us. So let's copy it and run it to see what actually comes up. So let's remove this and paste what we've copied. So let's see, let's look at it here. So it's got a dictionary of uh, string key and uh, string value. So obviously it's called dictionary. So it's got a name, which is John. And it obviously the dictionary um, the items is being added. So the name is a key. And then the, and then the name John Doe is a, is a value. So age is the key. And then the age as a number is a value and the occupations and whatnot yeah so here obviously we are actually looking through the, the dictionary just to print them out so let's let's actually run it to see what actually comes out of it okay so as you can see we've got this printed out the name as john doe age 30 occupation software engineering so as you can see yeah. Uh, it's very simple to get you started with this Google, but and it's pretty similar to Chat GPT as well. So I will leave the video here, but on the next video, we we'll look at how we can create an API for the bird, uh, an API application for the bird, and we also look at how we can get, uh, we can sign up for the API key and whatnot. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up, and I hope you have a lovely morning afternoon. Even in wherever you are, peace.